This is Andy Purewell for Boxing News. I'm joined by Dimitri Bivol here in London. Dimitri, how are you feeling? I feel good. I'm glad to hear it, Dimitri. Um, it's been a long road to get here, Dimitri. At one point, there was a lot of politics involved. Uh, a lot of people questioning if we would see the WBC and Murcio Solomon weren't supporting this fight. Things have changed now. The fight was delayed, though. How do you feel? Two and a half weeks out, did you feel like the undisputed bout might not happen at any point? Uh, you know, I, I feel calm, uh, calm down because uh, I trust to just to destiny that that it happened in the right time, you know, and uh, I'm come down, I was uh, waiting, I was uh, mm, I was patient and now I'm happy that uh, the fight gonna be soon in just a couple of weeks. Just use that word destiny, why do you believe it's your destiny to become undisputed champion on October 12th? I'm not saying that it's my destiny, I mean like about how God how God's planning, we cannot change anything. We can be just patient and we just could wait and accept it, you know. And I accept that uh, I was uh, waiting so long and I was patient. And uh, of course, I I believe that I could be undisputed. If I didn't believe, uh, I couldn't be here uh, today and talking to you. Mm, I have everything. To be undisputed, you know, many people has uh, good skills to be. Uh, you need to work also on it. You have to believe always on it. You have discipline yourself uh, with your daily plans, with your trainings. And I was trying to do all of it to to be uh, to become and to look at myself in the mirror before the fight and go in the ring with the. Uh, good feelings. You're a very unique fighter with your style, Dimitri. Um, what advantages do you feel that you hold over Arta Better BF? Uh, I, you, I don't know about uh, if if I could tell that I have uh, just better speed or better movement or something else. You know, I'm the fighter who who has uh, enough power, enough speed, enough movement, enough. Uh, boxing technique, IQ, and I can sometimes use my speed more, movements, or this is, uh, I describe myself that, uh, which is uh, good. When Better Beer fought Callum Smith, he started very fast. As soon as the first bell went, he basically ran and closed down the distance and pushed Callum into the corner. Do you expect an aggressive start from Arta Better Beer? Yeah, of course I'm expecting uh, all scenarios. Uh, he could go, he could pre he could uh, move forward so fast in the beginning, and he can uh, move also back and then counter punch. He has a lot of good uh, uh, skills also, and he could use it uh, against me. This is the um, this is showing how boxer is good and. Uh, how how I could expecting it, uh, it it shows also if I ex expecting it and I can do something with this it means I'm I'm good also and I'm trying to uh, to analyze it, to to see the fight in different ways. In his most recent fights, he's had injuries, postponements. Obviously, this fight was postponed as well. Do you feel like that's going to be a factor? Do you do you think about his injuries catching up with him? I don't think about it uh, because it's uh, uh, it's not good thoughts if I think about it. I'm thinking only about that he recovered himself for 100 percent and now he's feeling good and he will be in the best shape. And it makes me to be focused. You've been more active, um, beat Malik Zinad last time. Do you feel like that puts you in a better position, being active and with a stoppage victory recently as well? Uh, I don't, th I don't think that I'm better position because I had a fight with Malik Zinat or, or this and that. No, I just know. For me, it was good. I don't know. Maybe for him, it's also good. But for me, uh, I'm glad how things happened and where I am now today. I know you're not going to look past October 12th, but I want to ask you, Dimitri, um, before Canelo fought Belanga, he mentioned a rematch with yourself. He's spoken about it in the media. Was it a surprise to you that he's mentioning the rematch now? No, I'm not surprising because he was mentioning me before.
Do you think that a rematch could be possible now? I just don't think about it at all, you know. I have my uh, training camp, I have a bitter beef fight and uh, then we will see it just talks, talks. Uh, if we need to do some fight, uh, he doesn't need to talk with the media, he needs to talk to Eddie Hearn. What did you make of his performance against Belanga? Uh, it was uh, it was good fight. Uh, I didn't see it uh, full, to be honest, because I was in my camp. Mm, but I saw a couple of episodes, and um, he was good. Berlanga was bigger, and uh, his uh, boxing skills is better, of course, than Berlanga. Do you think Canelo's declined since you fought him? Declined? Mm. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I have my own way. He has all his own way. We could fight. I was available a couple of years. Uh, yeah, a couple, more than one year. We, we were waiting uh, the offer, but we didn't get it. Doesn't matter. One more from me, Dimitri. Um, I did an interview with Jaya Pattaya about six months ago. He doesn't watch many boxers, but he's a big fan of you. He likes watching you. He's a fan of your style. I know in the past, Turkey El Sheikh has mentioned you and him potentially fighting each other. Big weight difference, but have you thought about that? Have you had conversations about that fight with Jaya Pattaya? Uh, Turkey El Sheikh, he, uh, he told me before, yeah, I want to fight. I want to you fight uh, against. Uh, uh, Joseph Apitaya yeah? and uh, I told him that I want to I want to deal with my weight class first and then we will see okay, I don't want to even talk about it now but uh, I need to be undisputed in this weight class or just close the subject with light wave Dimitri I appreciate your time good luck on October 12th thank you thank you so much